All right, let's bring him out right now out of the blue corner. Give it up for Chris Heavner. Chris Heavner tonight is looking to work his game. He comes out of the Archaic Ways Fight Club. He is ready to put on a show tonight. He is a natural athlete looking to do nothing more than prove his athletic ability that it can take you a long way. He is a full-time dad with four kids, but he trains whenever and wherever he can. Four kids, that's a lot of kids to get your training time in. You know, I hope he has enough trying to t time to train. You know, in this sport, just being a natu natural athlete will only take you so far. You know, like we said before, you gotta train every aspect of the fight game. You gotta train your stand-up. You gotta train your wrestling. You gotta train your jujitsu. Takes a lot to be an MMA fighter. Just being a natural athlete will only get you so far in the fight game. Yeah, and no matter what, you always have to be getting in your training here. As Chris Evener gets ready, they are applying the grease. Now, without being able to train much, you know, that does not help your chances in a fight like this. No, I mean, you can you can be a natural athlete, but you gotta train, no, you know, you gotta train the stand up. You gotta train the wrestling and the jiu jitsu, or you don't see things coming. You know, that's how you get caught in something, is you don't, you don't see it coming because you don't train it enough. All right, let's bring out his opponent tonight out of the red corner this evening. Give it up for C.J. Randall. C.J. is looking to work his game tonight. He works it out of American Top Team HD with the likes of vets L.C. Davis and big names like Jason High. This was an easy weight cut for him as he normally fights at 155 pounds instead of tonight's, I'm sorry, he normally fights at 155 instead of tonight's 170, so there was no issues with the weight cut. He definitely wants to implement his game plan and take this fight where it needs to go. As we go to our tail of the tape, You know, we'll see how C.J. Randall handles fighting a bigger guy. You know, he's used to fighting at 155, a smaller weight class. You know, he's probably used to being the big guy at that weight class. We'll see how he handles being in there with another 170 pounder who's a little bit bigger than him. Now, Chris Heavner, though, does not look like he cuts too much weight to make a uh, 170 pounds. As a matter of fact, I believe that C.J. looks to be the better athlete. Absolutely, C.J. even looks to be the bigger guy. All right, and we send it up to the cage to Stephen Bear to get it started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, fighting out of the blue corner this evening, he weighs in at 161.5 pounds. He's from Roach, Missouri. Please welcome Chris Heavner. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. He tips in at 169.7 pounds. He's fighting out of Olathe, Kansas. Please welcome C.J. Randall. All right, fellas, give your structure to stream. You got any questions? You got any questions? Touch them up. God bless you. Come out all the way back. Come out with the bell all the way back. Referee Mike England is ready to get the crowd started here. We are looking at some big action. This one may go quickly, it may go the distance. And here we go. We have a touch of hand, oh no, glove touch. Oh, big overhand right from Evener. I think he was just dropped with that big kick though. As Randall continues to work his back, he is looking to push really hard, flattens him Very down. Very nice job by Randall to flatten Evener out. Now he's gonna wanna keep throwing some blows. This is bad, Kevin. What a way to start out. Heavner cannot just sit here and take punches on the side of the head there. Looking oh, he looks like he's got oh, under the chin. Randall's got chin. it under the chin. He's thinking about it. We don't. He's know. got that rear naked jump. And there it is. There's a tap. Very nice by Randall. Very, very slick. Got that right flat, flattened Heavner out immediately. Landed some good ground and pound while he had him flattened out. Snuck the arm under the chin for the nice, easy rear naked choke. Yeah. Very, very nice job by Randall. This does definitely not show that that weight cut, uh, you know, no problems there of a weight difference of either one of those athletes. 
No, Randall actually looked like the bigger guy in there, definitely the bigger, stronger guy in there, even at a higher weight class. You know, he, he did everything perfectly. He looked great. Now, we are looking at another rear naked choke win here for C.J. Randall. His first one came only 43 seconds into round one, and now no issues. It does look like that big right hand, though, uh, opened up a bit of a cut over C.J. Randall's eye. Yeah, that big overhand right that Heavner threw from the very beginning. Looks like it might have caught his eye. Actually, it's on the... Yeah, yep, absolutely. I, I think that overhand right gave him a little bit of cut. Yeah, big he shot. right through that, though. Got the takedown and took his back immediately. Got a very nice rear naked choke. Yeah, big shot, no effect whatsoever on C.J. Randall as he just simply runs over Chris Heavner in this fight. So let's... So let us send us up to the cage to Stephen Bear for our results. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended 35 seconds of the first round by rear naked choke. Your winner, C.J. Randall.